Hi everyone, it's the Penny Pinching Prepper here, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Today, uh, today we're gonna take an old Bic lighter and turn it into a char cloth sparker. Okay, and if you're not sure what char cloth is, um, it's basically a superheated piece of cotton that takes a spark very very easy um <clears throat> there's all kinds of videos out there on how to make it i might eventually make one myself but there's a ton out there <laughs> but i'm going to show you how to make an easy way to ignite that char cloth usually you would use a flint and steel and um i'm all for flint and steel i mean it's it's tried and true right um but it's it's a skill it's something you've got to learn it, it takes time and even those who have mastered it if it gets too cold their hands you know aren't aren't as nimble as they should be and they have a tough time getting that spark to hit that char cloth and get it going and uh it's easy to break your flint and just chip it away and it be gone and then you're out there looking for another rock and so what i'm going to show you today basically makes it super simple and, and just remedies all of that especially for you beginner preppers who uh might not be quite into advanced skills like that yet so, uh, or you're just an old timer and, and you don't want to fight with trying to make that spark with all the different tools and, and everything going on and getting it just right or, or whatever, right? So today we're going to get into it. Um, you're going to need a Bic lighter and once you've got it empty, don't think it's empty wrap a rubber band around it or some some tape or something to keep the, the little depressor down and make sure that it's sat for hours and it's completely drained i've already done that to this one <clears throat> but uh you'll need that you'll need some high temp jb weld uh putty i you know one of my go-to's um you could probably get away with any sort of uh, silicone, but I'm going to be using gasket seal. You'll need some of that. You'll need some duct tape of some sort. I prefer the Gorilla Tape. And then for tools, all you really need is a pair of pliers. Needle nose, preferably. It'll make your life easier. And a Dremel. And for the Dremel, the attachments we'll be using is, um, I'm probably going to use this for the most part. And this is a, a diamond cutting wheel, um, but these carbide cutting wheels work great. Uh, that's what I used to make the other one, but I, I want to try this because uh, they're just a little easier to handle. So if it works on the plastic right, I'm going to go with this guy. If not, I know these work, so. But, uh, without going into it too much more, um, I'm going to pause the video real quick. I'm going to get a better angle so you guys can really see what you're doing, um, or see what I'm doing. And, uh, we'll start this video back up in one second. Alright guys, so it's, uh, Probably going to get a little bit loud, so you might want to turn your volume down because I'm going to be using the Dremel. But I'll give you a good thumbs up indication to let you know that I'm done Dremeling for sure and I have something to say and, and give you a couple of seconds to turn the volume back up. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and get into this. So <clears throat> when I start Dremeling, that's when you'll want to turn it down. So what we're going to do is start by, I've already removed the, the child little safety thing here. I, I'm sure you're all familiar with it. Remove that and then go ahead and 
you get this uh, uh, outer casing off as well. Let me get something to get that off with. Yeah, no, I guess I was better off with the pliers. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and get that, that outer casing like that off, all right? And uh, hold on to this and put it to the side, all right? So now we're down to something that looks like this, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to put a cut here, all right, a little ways above the bottom. And then we're going to put another cut about three-fourths of an inch from the top down, all right? And then we're going to put a cut down the spine. And we're going to do this all on the opposite side, or, um, yeah, all on the opposite side of the, uh, the red part, all right? That way it will actually push the, the when you're holding it, it'll be more forward you'll you'll see what i mean here in a little bit so here we go guys let's let's get into this go ahead and turn your volume down and i'll give you a thumbs up when i need to talk to you again Alright guys, so as you can see we did just a, a, a rough cut here, alright? And that's so you can see what's going on in there and, and get an idea of how much you actually want to cut. Alright, so we actually want to go ahead and uh, finish cutting off this little edge here, alright? And then we want to take these edges right here off down to that flat inner part that you see um that you see down here all right so we want to take these walls off right here down to this as flat and as even as we can and uh <clears throat> with this part here um we're just going to do a little bit of cleanup work um you're you're just going to want to get it up to this let's see if we can see it you see this little round thing you just want to get it nice and flat with that round thing there okay so uh 
Watch what I'm doing, and we'll get back to it in a second, all right? We'll also eventually end up cutting this little side off here, exposing a, a cavity in here. All right, so back to making noise. I'll give you a thumbs up when I'm done so that uh, um, you can turn the volume back up, all right?
All right, guys. So I've got a, a general cleanup here, and, and as you can see, this is what we're we're looking for for a general start here. Um, this uh, bit works a little better than I thought it did, and so I'm actually gonna um, switch over now to a different bit. So let me get back to you in a second. All right, guys, it's going to get loud again, but I'm going to clean things up a little bit and get back to you in a second. So, uh, now that I've got down to this, there'll be a little bit more cleanup, but before I get to that cleanup, we need to get this little nub down here, um, darn near flat with the, uh, the part that it's attaching to that moves it up and down. All right, so we want to we want to get that down there real quick. So we're going to grind that real fast. Turn your volume down.
right, there we are. And there we have it, guys. Let me get back to you in one second. All right, guys, as you can see, I got that, that nub not all the way down, but I got it a lot flatter. Um, I guess I could clean it up just a little bit more. decently flat now so now that's not going to get away when in in the way when it sparks all right so what we're going to do next if i can find what i just did with it um you guys probably see it and i'm just so blind they don't hold on one second all right so next we're going to work on this part all right and as you can see, there's two little lines. And what we want to do is actually make that one big hole. But we want to leave um, all the room on the top here. So we don't want to cut up into here at all. And we want to clean just a little bit off the bottom. So I'll show you what's going on. Go ahead and turn it down. I'll give you a good thumbs up when I'm all done. All right. And uh, safety first. This is part of the reason why we need that needle nose, right?
All right, guys, I'm going to switch bits real quick, and I'll get back to you in a moment. All right, guys, going to get loud. Let's finish cleaning this up real fast. All right, guys, so this is kind of what you're looking for, all right? Just trying to cut a nice big open hole like that, but leave it all together, all right? So one last bit change, one last little cleanup, and we'll move on. All right, guys, so let's uh, show you a little cleanup. Show you a little bit of cleanup. Going to make some noise now.
All right, and I got it cleaned up as nice as I, uh, well, at least acceptable. Um, I could probably, you know, geek out on this all day and get it darn near perfect, but we're not going for perfect. <clears throat> we're just going for darn good. All right, so the next step is gonna be a little bit fun. We get to play with putty. <laughs> so make sure that this is nice and flat. Take your pliers, squeeze it together. All right, make sure that that gap is squeezed in there so that there's no, uh, no gap in between these two prongs right here. All right. So, all right, get that gap down as much as you can. All right, and then we're gonna get our uh, all temp JB weld. And the reason I go, or not all temp, high temp. <clears throat> and the reason I go with high temp is, well, A, it's making sparks, but honestly, uh, it's because this stuff takes 25 minutes to set. So you have plenty of time to work it, play with it, and get it to what you want. Excuse me for a second. I've... Yeah, it's all right. I'll just use something else. Uh, all right. So we're going to cut off a little piece. It doesn't have to be real big. I'm probably going to use more than I need to. I always do somehow. All right, put that back in the container. And guys, this takes a little while to work together because it's two part epoxy, so you got to mix it together. And so I'm going to get back to you when I'm done mixing it up, okay? All right, guys, all mixed up. I'm going to tear off a small piece. All right. That's probably even too big. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug up this hole, but we don't want it to get in the way of this hole, okay? And we don't want it to get in the way of this knot, this big notch right here either. So we're going to squeeze some into the hole. clean up what we don't need and then we're going to come to the opposite side here and it, it's it's actually squished in there so we're going to work it down a little bit of spit helps sometimes guys in fact that's what i'm going to use right now because it keeps it from wanting to stick so much <clears throat> so you're able to get it down in there So guys, at this point, it's just a matter of cleaning it up, make it look nice. I'll get back to you when I'm done. This video is getting a little long. All right, so when it gets done, you want it to look kind of like that. You see, I kept that all open. And the most important part is, is if you look on the inside, I made sure that there's plenty of room for that spark wheel to get back in there. All right, that's that's important. In fact, looking at it on the, the camera now, it looks like I missed a, a teeny tiny little spot. All right, did I? Yeah, right there. So that's gonna be right there. All right, there we go, good and cleaned up. All right, so if you did your timing right and everything worked out after you've gotten that all cleaned up and looking like that, all right, that this should still be good and pliable. 
All right, so what we want to do next is take our, our uh, sparker here and uh, oh, I need to do just a little bit more cleanup there. Hold on one second, guys. All right, guys, I, I just, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and uh, what we're getting ready to do next, I want to make sure that this is good and smooth and clean because any rough edges could make it hard for you. So I ended up taking a little bit of sandpaper and sanding it down, wet sanding it so it was nice and smooth. And then uh, go ahead and clean the inside by, you know, pushing a paper towel down in there and just, you know, cleaning out whatever you can as far as tread goes but all right so we're still still doing all right on time we're going to take oh let's say half of that what's left it's still pliable all right and guys this is this is going to be the gross part and and, and i know that some of you people might not like this but uh i've tried so many different things and i found it's worked best and what i'm going to do so I'm going to put a bunch of spit on my finger and I'm actually going to put it down in that hole and get it really good and saturated with my slime. Um, <clears throat> and it's going to be necessary because if you use water, you run the risk of it drying too fast. Saliva doesn't dry as fast as water does. So, um, <clears throat> so. We're going to get it down in there, and, and, and I mean a lot, you know, get get a good amount down in there. All right, and then you're going to take your ball, and you're actually going to push it down into that hole a good amount. All right, and then you're going to shape the putty to, to form around the, the lighter part. And uh, I'm gonna take a second and get back to you and show you when I'm all done. All right, guys, so I got it all shaped up. There's a little dab there, but all shaped up. Now the next part is getting between the two plastics and very gently, and, and, and I actually went out and got my X-Acto knife to do this. We're going to get in there and very gently try to pull this cork out without misshaping it, okay? So I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So as you can kind of see, I kept its shape. It's got, you know, a little bit of a bottom part to grab onto for the cork and then it's got the part that goes inside you can see the little lip all the way around it there it's got the general shape all right so here's the deal this is this is the fun waiting game part and we're, we're going to go through this together only i'm going to keep it under uh, 50 minutes <clears throat> this stuff hopefully you have a little bit left over and you'll see it's still pliable so pay attention when it starts to get to the point where it's almost uh, not pliable anymore. Not hard, but, you know, where it's getting a lot tougher to, to form it, but not to the point where you can't put this back in there and, and reform it one last time. Um, because that's what we're going to do is take that cork once it, it gets just a little bit stiffer and we're going to put it back in there with more spit again and go through all that fun stuff again and shape it one last time. Um, <clears throat> it, uh, it, it'll make the final seal to, to make it to where when we, we put the gasket seal on it, that it'll, it'll make a good, uh, cork that will stay in there real nice. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, let this dry for a little bit. Um, wax paper, parchment paper always helps. Let it sit on that flat side because it might actually try to settle and set. So make sure it's on the flat side or the bottom side. And I'll be back to you shortly. All right, guys, just a quick update on how it's coming. 
I went and reshaped it one more time, put it back in, reshaped it. You can see it's got a slightly nicer shape to it. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see, it's still pretty pliable. All right. So <clears throat> I can only pause my video for so long before it, 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 uh, cuts the video off and I got to start all over and I don't want to go through that so I'm just giving you that quick little update that I reshaped it giving you a better idea what if it's looking like um, the other thing is as you notice maybe I can get you to notice it on the back side there there's a little valley or, or indent right right there you can see um, that's made by the uh, this little ridge right here, there's a, a little little ridge right up, there it is, right up the middle. Well, it goes on the inside too. So that, there, there's gotta be that little ridge for it to work right. Just keep that in mind when you're shaping it. You might have to do it a few times. I did my first time. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure I'm there. It's getting to the point where it's getting hard I, I actually got to try to squeeze it and, and put some real pressure to it so I think we're finally there for the last fitting and once again we're gonna put some spit down in there I, I know you guys are probably sick of seeing my spit but I want to show you how to do it the easiest way <laughs> make sure that spits on there really good and all around the outside real good all right. Oops, sorry about that. Kind of gross, I know. <clears throat> Sometimes we got to do what we got to do. And then we're going to take our cork and we're going to put it in there, make sure it fits, and then put a little bit of spit down on our paper and we're going to give it one last little gentle smush, just enough to, to push it down a little bit, make it flat, and give it a nice, good lip all right as you can see that's what i did and then you'll let it sit for just a couple more seconds well give it about four or five minutes and then pull it out again and i'll get back to you for that all right all right so now it's at a couple more minutes take our exacto knife and be very careful and just kind of gently start to lift it up and once you get it so far, it should want to come loose on its own. There it goes. Let it drop out. <clears throat> All right, guys. Now, I know you think this is it. But it's still going to get just a little bit harder. And when that happens, put it in one more time. And you shouldn't have to use the X-Acto knife. You should just be able to pull it in and out at that point. Um, just to give it one last little little seal. Make sure you know you clean out all the edges and make sure no, uh, no putty ended up along the sides. I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> all right. So, as you can see, it's getting to the point where it's really hard to smush it. So, we're, we're, we're there to do the final shape. So, once again, we're going to do the gross thing. All right. And, uh, and then we're going to pick it up. We're going to do our last, we're going, to, we're going to actually give it just a little teeny tiny little gentle press to kind of squish it just a teeny bit. I mean, just so subtle. And then we're going to put it back in there. Now do the flat side with the ridge first and then kind of fit it down in there. All right. Give her a nice little flattening. We're not going to really press much, just a little flatten. 
and then uh, at this point we should be able you know what guys let's not run the risk let's go ahead and use our razor blade and gently get it up there it goes All right, and that'll be the last time we do that until it's completely rock hard solid and I'll get back to you then. Go get your bandana. All right, folks, so if you did your part right and it's all dried and good and ready to go, you got something that you see the little, little channel there, the shape, there's a a little lip all the way around it see and it should fit in there nice and snug like that it's not perfect but it fits in there it goes in and out there's plenty of room all right so then what we're going to do next we're going to go back to our Dremel, all right, and uh, oh, let me get into screen here. There's this lip right here, okay, and we're actually going to cut a channel around it, all right, just above the lip. No, it's kind of hard to make out, but we want to leave just a, a little space from the channel to the lip, all right? But we don't want to come, I mean, we want to leave as much space up top as we can. So we don't want to, we don't want to come up too high is what I'm getting at on the, on the top side, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get back to you in a moment. All right, folks, so when you get done, you should have cut a little channel in it all the way around, but left a little bit of space at the bottom to keep its shape and form. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to sand the, the top flat and shape it out a little bit and make a little bit more room. But don't take it down so far that it starts to uh, lose its its tightness in, in the cork. So just take like a sixteenth of an inch off right through here and flatten it out a little bit, all right? I'll show you in a moment. All right, guys. So as you can see, I sanded it down partially flat even a decent amount of space there all the way around got that channel in there so <clears throat> still fits really nice and secure all the way around all right so at this point what would be next guys is you'd take this and actually, you know what, before we get to that, let's, uh, let's take a, a moment and make sure all our efforts are worth it, right? So, take this part that you made, squeeze this bottom just a little bit till you feel it give just a teeny bit. So, you know that it's going to slide on here and be nice and tight. And then you're going to put it on there. And it's going to be tight, but that's what you want, nice and tight. All right, so get it back on there, get it snapped in. All right, make sure it's sparking. You can see how those sparks are flying out in that one direction. And uh, let's see if we have success. So. We'll take a piece of char cloth because that's what it's designed for is char cloth. This isn't for starting other types of tender. This is just for char cloth. 
and uh, we put it in the edge here with the, the little frayed edge and we give it a couple of sparks and uh, man, I'm telling you I, I did a really bad job on this oh there we go and there it goes so let me put that out and try it again because I noticed I was out of view so you put it in the little slot and you spark it and hopefully if your char cloth is good it starts right up and there it goes so we definitely have a good spark going it's working the way it's supposed to all that kind of good stuff let's put that out real quick all right so it's working the last step would be to take some of this goo here all right and what we want to do make sure this is dry and all the dust is off of it still smell a little bit over here all right is we're going to cover the whole top part, not this bottom part here, anywhere on the lip or nowhere on the bottom part, just the top part and get really nice and good up inside of those channels. Now this stuff really wants to stick to your fingers, all right, guys? <clears throat> so what you want to do is go back to the, the yucky spit all right, because that's going to keep it from wanting to stick, and it's going to take a lot. So, make sure you get it all up in there. Get all up in them goodies. So, all right. Might need a little bit more. Clean my finger off and get some more spit. guess I didn't put enough on I keep gotten to add it so I guess uh, go a little thick you can always wipe off All right, once you get it all like that, clean your hands off real quick. That's what I've got to do. All right. And what you're going to do is get it all nasty in here again. All right, guys. Get it all gross inside of there all right and then put this uh gasket back in there real fast squish it down do a little clean off all right squish it down just a little bit more do a little more clean off I need a little bit more. Hold on. <sighs> or a little more clean off is what I mean. <laughs> all right. So we wiped it off really good and clean all the way around. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and carefully pull it back out. All right. Now, if you did it right, it 
really smashed it into that and made it to where it created a good cork and seal. All right, guys, let it dry. After it's dried, put it back on and take your duct tape, right? About three feet, three and a half feet, something like that until it gets to a nice thickness in your, in your hand and, and, and wrap it around. And if you did it right, you'll have just enough space to do that, get the cork on, and it'll be all done. And I'll, I'll do a short later showing you, but it's going to take time for this to dry and it's time for this video to be over. You've at least made it to this point and got a good idea of what's going on. So if you liked the video and you made it this long, do me a favor, get down there and smash that likes button and, and, uh, if you're new to the channel, consider uh, subscribing. And uh, remember, God's good and God bless.